Welcome to the True Crime Society. In 1982, a French professional footballer and a world-class athlete went into hospital for a routine procedure. A mistake put him into a coma for 39 years before he sadly passed away in September 2021. Who was to blame for cutting this man's life so tragically short? And were they criminally liable? This is the story of Jean-Pierre Adams, the footballer who was trapped in the house of the beautiful sleeping athlete. Jean-Pierre Adams was born in Dakar, Senegal on the 10th of March 1948 to a family of strong and proud Catholics. Despite his uncle, Alexandre, playing football for ASC Gian Arc, a popular team in Senegal, education was the main priority in Jean-Pierre's life and sports only followed if his grades were high enough. At the age of 10, he left his native Senegal on a pilgrimage to France alongside his grandmother who eventually left him to be fostered by the Jourdain family. He was enrolled in the College St. Louis where he excelled at football. His physical stature and athleticism made him stand out and he became widely respected for his ability. He had a mental fortitude to match. Despite being in a car crash which killed his friend and suffering a serious knee injury, he excelled in the military which saw his talents being recognised by Nimes FC who in modern times play in the second league of French football. It was around this time that Jean-Pierre met the love of his life, a woman who would go on to be his protector long after consciousness was taken from him. By playing in defence, he rose the ranks to become one of the team's most important players and helped them qualify for Europe for the first time in their history. The former Argentina captain, Angel Moquas, who played for Nantes at the time, said that in the rugged defence of Nîmes, there is a pillar, a kind of force of nature, a colossus of uncommon athletic power, Jean-Pierre Adams. I always dreaded the two annual confrontations with him. This form led him to become a French international and to play for French heavyweight teams such as Nice and Paris Saint-Germain. After his impressive career, he retired at the age of 33. Adams and his wife Bernadette were married in April 1969 and had two sons. Laurent, born 1969, and Frederick, born 1976, and had a long, happy marriage. Post-retirement, Adams was looking to take the step into a coaching career, and so took the first steps towards a coaching degree in Dijon, which entailed a week-long stay in the town. Whilst there, he began to suffer a knee problem, and was forced to quit the course in order to attend hospital in Lyon. A scan showed a ruptured cruciate ligament, and so he was further hospitalised for surgery. On the day of the surgery, he said to his wife, It's all fine, I'm in fine shape, but hauntingly, these were his final words. A mistake in the supply of the anaesthetic, led to Jean-Pierre falling into a coma that he would never awaken from. Not until months later was he moved north to Chalon. The treatment here was also suspect, which resulted in an infected bed sore that would require further surgery as it had reached his bones. Bernadette stayed lovingly by his side, never giving up in the belief that he would one day awake. When the hospital said that they could no longer look after Adams, he was moved home. For Bernadette, this was a great undertaking. She would sleep in the same room as her husband and get up in the middle of the night to turn him. Bernadette had to have a custom house built, which she named the Maz Bouda Athlete Domant, the house of the beautiful sleeping athlete. The result of this forced the family into financial ruin. Various football bodies came forward to help, with Nims and PSG both offering 15,000 francs, whilst the French Football Federation gave her 6,000 francs per week after an initial contribution of 25,000 francs in December 1982. Bernadette looked after her husband for 39 years until the morning of September the 6th, 2021, when he passed away. But how did a routine anaesthetic result in a coma that Jean-Pierre would never awaken from? On the day of his non-urgent operation, there was a staff shortage due to a strike at the hospital in Lyon. As such, Bernadette implored them to postpone the operation, but this request was ignored, despite one doctor looking after eight patients. To complicate matters further, Adams was not on the correct type of bed, and the drug use was known to be problematic, and the operation was overseen by a trainee who was repeating a year. Jean-Pierre was badly intubated, with one tube blocking the pathway to his lungs rather than ventilating them meaning that he was starved of oxygen, whereupon he suffered a cardiac arrest. Most crime profiles would now detail the complicated road to judgement. The result here was devastatingly simple. Despite the French courts taking 12 years, a time frame which Bernadette says would bankrupt her if it wasn't for the help of the football community, the doctor and the trainee were suspended for a single month and fined only 750 francs. 
They were convicted of causing involuntary injury. The trainee even admitted in court her fault, stating that I was not up to the task I was entrusted with. The mistakes resulted in not only Jean-Pierre spending over half his life in a vegetative state, but his family shouldering the housing and financial burden. Do you think this was a fair judgement? Bernadette Levin being looked after her husband for the 39 years that he was in a coma. In 2007, she revealed that Jean-Pierre feels, smells, hears and shudders when a dog barks, but he can't see. She stated that no one ever forgets to give gifts to Jean-Pierre, whether on his birthday, Christmas or Father's Day. We buy gifts like t-shirts or a sweater because he changes clothes every day, she says. I buy things so he has a nice room, like nice sheets or perfume. He used to use Paco Rabanne, but his favourite has changed, so I now buy Savage by Dier. In conclusion, a world-class athlete went into hospital for a routine procedure that ended up putting him into a coma that would last 39 years. The minuscule judgement did not aid Jean-Pierre's family as they took the responsibility for his care until the day of his death on September 6, 2021. His wife Bernadette's love for Pierre was internal, and unfortunately, the sad story did not have a fairy tale ending as Jean-Pierre spent over 39 years in the house of the beautiful sleeping athlete. Rest in peace, Jean-Pierre Adams. Thank you for watching.